What's up, everybody? My name is Lasko Sergonats. I'm here with Bojan uh, Vilicković, a UFC fighter. Uh, going to fight on UFC Fox 22 in Sacramento in December against um, uh, Sultan Ali. What can you say about this fight, Bojan, and uh, what can we expect from you in this fight? Uh, well, this this should be a very interesting fight, a uh, very interesting matchup. Uh, since Sultan and I are uh, former teammates from American Top Team, uh, we know each other, uh, I can say, really well. Uh, we train a lot of times together. Uh, his style is totally unorthodox. Uh, comparing to other guys that I train here in the United States, uh, he's from Russia, uh, actually Dagestan, uh, but he's a Russian national team uh, a Russian Sambo national team uh, member. Uh, also, he won a uh, world championship a couple years ago. Uh, very good, very tough fighter. Uh, very interesting style of fighting. Uh, I think uh, my style can be uh, interesting too, and uh, I'm really excited to to get in a fight with him. Uh, he's a good man, uh, good guy, uh, incredible athlete. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be uh, probably one of the most interesting fighters in that card. Uh, that's at least what I'm try uh, what I'm going to try uh, to do over there, December seventeenth. Yeah, Bon, uh, your last fight was against Michael Graves. Um, it it went went draw, but uh, it, he was also your uh, ex teammate uh, in the American Top Team. But uh, do you have problems to fight with uh, fight with uh, people that you have trained with before? Well, I can't say that I'm happy to fight uh, guys that I know, and especially the guys that I know. They're very good men, and uh, they're uh, they were kind of my friends, uh, you know. But that's life. Uh, I'm not the one uh, who's choosing opponents. Uh, I'm UFC employee, and uh, whatever UFC tells me. And offers me, I have to accept it. Uh, for this particular uh, card, uh, I mean, uh, when it comes to fight, I I ask uh, from UFC to give me a fight in Europe, in uh, Ireland on uh, November 18th, uh, and they said they uh, they already uh, made the fight made the fight card. Then I asked to put me because Europe is my home kind, and I have a lot of uh, UFC, a lot of fans over there. And they asked me when I'm gonna fight again in Europe. I asked for that card. Uh, then I and I said I'm gonna fight anybody uh, that they give me. Uh, then I asked for the fight uh, in Canada uh, on UFC 205, uh, UFC 206 actually in Toronto. Uh, and uh, because I know there's a lot of Serbian, uh, a lot of, a big Serbian community over there, and uh, I would have big support, and a lot of people would come to. Uh, to watch and support me, uh, but from UFC came, uh, and I also said that I'm going to fight anybody. Uh, the offer came a couple days ago. They offered me uh, Sultan, and uh, although I know him, uh, there's, there's there, there was no other option than for me to accept it. And now when I did, and when it's official, I'm going to do everything to prepare, prepare myself well and uh, to go over there and try to try to win that fight. Yeah. Bon, uh, do you feel that you have more press on you right now? Because you have one win, one draw. If you lost this fight, it's uh, not maybe so good for you. Uh, do you have more press for this fight, that you must win this fight? No. No, not at all. I'm, I'm definitely not... Uh, I'm not thinking too much about the result of the fight. I just want to go over there. Like last fight, I didn't lose. It was a draw, but I wasn't... I wasn't happy for me... If I tried uh, better, uh, if I push myself more and Mike uh, to win, uh, and if I lost by a knockout or submission, I think I would be much more satisfied uh, deep inside me because I know that I did uh, that, that I did my best uh, to win the fight. Uh, this one, I mean, I'm, from every fight, I'm trying to learn something, and uh, from last fight, I learned that. Uh, I just want to go over there, perform well, do my best, give my best. If that's enough for uh, for a victory, uh, I'll be I'll be uh, the happiest guy because that fight is also gonna be a 
one day before my birthday and I, I, I can promise to you and to myself that I'm going to do my best to win that fight and give myself a best birthday present ever. Uh, if not, if I lose by any kind of way, uh, at least I'm going to try to do my best and uh, just I, I'm, I'm very honest with myself and uh, after the fight, however the fight go, I just want to know that I did my best. doesn't matter, win or lose. Yeah. Bon, uh, your journey from Serbia to UFC uh, was really difficult. You like, uh, can you talk about that a little bit? It's really interesting. Uh, well, uh, my my journey from since I left my home Serbia till I got to UFC was pretty long, pretty tough. Uh, it was uh, it was long, around three or four years. Uh, I won a tournament in Serbia. I got the fight in US in a uh, in really small promotion. Uh, after that, I, I tried to get in an Ultimate Fighter show. I didn't. I lost the fight to get into a house. I got uh, my... I broke my orbital floor, uh, my, my cheekbone. I couldn't train several months. Uh, I had to start working. I was doing painting job. I was doing as a waiter in a restaurant. I was... I was doing movings, uh, I did a lot of hard work until I healed up and until I was able to get back to training and even when I got back to training I had to work to support myself because I didn't have, my family from back home wasn't able to support me and send me money here uh, so I can just train. So I wasn't able to afford that and uh, then everything came back together when I when I started fighting for RFA and when I started winning my fights, then I moved from Florida and training an American top team. I moved to Denver, uh, started training with the team elevation at Muscle Farm facility, uh, which I'm very thankful for that team and uh, Muscle Farm who accepted me really well and uh, as a one of one of the family members and a really really close friend and. Um, i just feel good and uh, after four or five fights four fights win in um in rfa and winning the title i got my ufc shot and uh i won my first fight in in zagreb this year uh and then this draw with mike uh which i really think i, I didn't gave my best so for this one i'm it's my it's my third fight and how they say in Serbia, third third one is the the hat, the lucky one. I really hope that uh, the luck is gonna be on my side in this fight, and that together with my effort, I'm gonna be able to perform well and to uh, get that get that victory and uh, put myself a little bit higher uh, in my weight division and hopefully uh, start grinding towards the top. Well, thank you for this interview and uh, good luck with your preparation for this fight. Thank you and uh, uh, all the best to you and uh, to your new uh, webpage and uh, also uh, hi to your f fans and uh, follow me guys and uh, I, I promise that I'm going to do my best to uh, become one of the best fighters in the world.